Yeah, I have to stand on a ladder? <laughs> I also can stand next to ladder. I'm multi-talented. Um, I've been watching these kids cook. Please, let me explain. Children cooking things. I've been watching them. That's not better. There's a show on the food TV where, <laughs> where children bake things and I've been watching that and that's the inspiration for this video. You, you're, sometimes I don't know about you, man. Today I'm gonna stand directly under the fan because that's the only place where the air hits and everything the air hits is mine. Simba. <clears throat> Brandon, I love intros just as much as the next human. Uh -huh. But what does Google Translate? Can you tell me a little bit about it? I would love to. Google Translate's where I take a recipe to something and I run it through Google Translate and it's weird and then I do that and then everybody loves it. That's the fastest I've ever done that. A little lengthy intro, but I mean, you make up for it and... Wish I could think of something. So like I said, I've been watching this show, Kids Baking Challenge, and last night they baked Claire, so I want to too, okay? Is that too much to ask for? Why do I always walk backwards? I guess I need to get away from what I'm saying. So I went on the www.my55inchscreen.tv, shut up your TV small. I found a recipe on how to make Claire's or Carl's, depending on the gender, and I ran that through Google Translate. Up, oh, bunch of time. Hopefully you understand what the show's about. If not, just rewind the video. Step one. You thought I was gonna call you stupid. I thought it. <laughs> I didn't. Listen, step one, place a cross on your front and say, oh, smart, we're gonna pray first. Lord, please don't let me develop dysentery as bad as last time. Thank you. What, y'all don't finger gun Jesus? <laughs> and say what? Oh, was this supposed to be like a repeat after me prayer? I think my prayer is a little more specific to the situation. So we're gonna go with that. Again, the, the pooping. <laughs> step two, sneak to beat the vanilla icing and put on a baking sheet. Get away that easy. Got him. Oh! Ooh. Never even saw me coming. Step three. He put it on for 15 minutes. No. No, he didn't. I hit my head about six seconds in and lost, lost all consciousness. I don't remember much after that, okay? There was a broomstick. I remember that. I'll always remember. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to put you on a, a baking sheet. Step four. Have the egg yolk and sugar in a medium saucepan become one. <gasps> Marriage? Sugar married down. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> Y'all wanna come over here for a second? I'm gonna be over here. I need to officiate. Six egg yolks, which means we separate the egg whites. I'm a pro at this. One. <clears throat> How do I look? Oh my lord. Did y'all see that egg yolks mother and egg came dressed in white? The Bible describes marriage as a floated thick column of clouds looking as solid as whipped cream. Is this the New Testament? <clears throat> I'll just keep reading. It says here in Paul chapter 3 verse 22, Then the last of the black garbed dwarves was upon him. This is not... I picked up the wrong book. <laughs> I know it by memory. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. The Spirit of the Lord, give me a second. I know the passage. I just memorized the entire Bible and have to start from the beginning. <clears throat> and then Joshua begat Egat, and Egat begat Eclair. Hence... You. Here we are. Love. <gasps> Who invited icing? Hey, I took care of it. And now you're married. Think about what you've done. <sighs> is it hot in here or is it just the temperature? Don't worry, this is the best part. The honeymoon. Oh, y'all are nasty. We're just gonna go ahead and leave them alone and let them do their thing. Remember, the Lord's always watching. Okay, have fun. Step five, add a good variety of cornstarch and mixture. Into what? Into the newlyweds? I always knew cornstarch was a homewrecker. Cornstarch and his cornstarch buddies are gonna go hang out with egg yolk and sugar for a bit. Oh, not me, the egg yolk. I hope three is a variety enough. I don't get it either, mom, okay? But this is the new way. This is what kids are doing now. I don't know what this is, but it's making something good looking. Good job, all of you, okay? Get over it, mom, this is the new way. Step six, opening a handful of hot milk makes a reduction. Reduction of what, skin? That's a 2% degree burn. Handful of steamy hot milk. <gasps> <clears throat> that is a milk degree burn, ouch. That one, I didn't understand, mom, okay? I am not into the pain. Y'all have insurance, right? Okay, drinking hot milk will reduce the risk of what? Having a normal throat? I'm not gonna do that one, okay? I already burnt my pinky finger, and I don't nearly use that as much as my throat, so. Not like, hey, um, you know what? I'm gonna go home. Here I am. Let's continue. <laughs> Pour the mixture through the strainer and back into the pot. 
Cook over medium heat, stirring until thick, and bring to a gentle boil. Thick with only one C? Gross. Over medium heat. Mom, I'd leave. Things are about to get a little hot in here. Why aren't you boiling yet? Oh, that's why. I made scrambled eggs. So they're breakfast eclairs. So much for one C, that's pretty thick. Stir in the heat and mix with the butter. It's a drag. Yeah, but it has to be done. Butter and mix in the heat. It's nearly 90 degrees in here. Hold on. Here, <laughs> Jesus. Wrap in plastic skin, or even refrigerate for at least two hours, should be available 24 hours before the bachelor's degree. In fact, store in the refrigerator for an hour. Make up your mind. So we're celebrating a graduation. That's not how the song goes. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes a baby, not a bachelor's degree. I don't get it, Mom. These kids, they're going out of order. Congrats on your graduation. He got his bachelor's degree in math history. It's always been the same. Preheat oven to 425 degrees. That's it? No breaking eggs on the ceiling or counseling egg yolk and sugar on their marriage? It's the easiest step I've ever done in my life. Add water, butter, salt, and sugar to a large bowl and boil over. It normally does anyway. Water? Why are you so far away? Don't be shot, you know water, right? Water, have you met camera? I'm so sorry, I thought you knew each other. Butter? You know butter, right? Butter and water are together. They grew up with egg yolk. Mother and egg is their aunt. Salt and sugar. Hmm? How do we know each other? Oh, we all went to Catholic school together. Next up, flatten into a weapon of foil. Made a sword. How long has vanilla icing been sitting back there? Don't worry, I'll handle it. Mm. Add all the flour and let all the flour dry for 30 to 60 seconds. Wait. We always wait with the greased spoon. You're so right. Where are we pouring all the flour? Boil in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. I don't think you know how refrigerators work. Can I put the spoon down? We're gonna go boil in the fridge for a bit. Mix at medium speed. One and three eggs. Add egg at a time until working, ugly. <sighs> Name Colin's not gonna get you nowhere, okay? You're lucky I didn't have my sword on me. We made mashed potatoes. That'll go perfect with our scrambled eggs. The dough should be very thin. It's thin with three ends. Toothpaste, toothpaste, very thin. If too thick, add one egg in. If the oil is still to boil, add the remaining one egg and mix well and smooth. <laughs> you ruined it! Using a pastry bag fitted with a large plain tip, pipe fat lengths of dough. About the size and shape of the dog hanging on the fan. What wiener? Ugh. What the hell? Stop that! Ow! <laughs> this wiener? You could have just said hot dog size. That would have been a lot easier on my face. Pipe the size of a flying smacking face wiener. Leave room for Jesus. Wiener pipes. That, I don't like that. Use your fingers to lecture inelegant small bumps on the surface of dough to stay at home. Do I need to wear my suit jacket? Hello class, I am your professor. They call me swangin' wiener. Has something to do with the fan, not what you're thinking. I'm here to lecture the inelegant ones about why to stay home. So I'm just gonna lecture you all because you wouldn't have to talk to people. That's why you should all stay home. Thank you, class dismissed. Do 15 minutes work? Boy, I hope so. I'm assuming in the oven. It should work as long as no more of them wieners come flying out. You're gonna do all right. Next step, yeah. then lower the heat to 375 degrees and wait until dark. 375. And wait. And pour custard into a clair. You mean the ones that have been in the oven for seven hours or so? That's probably why it's 90 degrees in here. They're either undercooked or burnt. I'm not sure which one's the custard, the graduate or the mashed potatoes. We're all so proud of you. I did half and half since I have no idea what I'm doing. The parchment slowly penetrates the pure, not just the inside of it, but to the deepest known aggression. Not the full text, but we want the full text. <laughs> That's enough out of you, wiener. Heat cream until it boils, place hot skin cream on chocolate. You're disgusting, you know that, right? That was a fast boil. I don't know whether I should be worried or excited for these dry hands. I put some chocolate on each eclair, so I'll just pour the hot hand cream over the eclair. And finally, let her cool until the chocolate melts. Don't assume it's a her just because her name's Eclair. A Carl would be offended. Let's try it. You want some? Huh? One second. Someone's at the door. <coughs> it was no one. What? I got hand cream in my teeth. Another excellent turnout. If you want to see more Google Translate, don't worry, your wild swinging wiener. I've made a playlist. 